Hello, guess what? I have Wi-Fi! Yay, I'm so excited to be back. Um, today I really want to film two episodes so that I can try to edit and at least get one up this weekend or have it be uploaded like next week and then I'll be prepared for the next one as well. Um, I just want to start off by saying that that background noise you hear is our AC going off. It almost constantly runs during the day right now in the summer because it's so hot and we have two big windows at the front and at the back and I got a window right here and we don't really have good curtains yet to keep the heat out <laughs> and the AC in. So that's going to be going off the whole time. I really apologize for it, but I am like sweating right now in my room and I'm not even that close to the window. So I'm going to stop rambling now so we can just get on into it. So this is season one, episode 20, hook, line, and sinker. So let's get on into it. <laughs> it's fine. It's soft. I'm pumped. I am ready. You're not. Why aren't you ready? Sorry. Cleo, it's the fishing competition. I mean, you and me, we enter every year. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't. Why not? Oh, because your dad's judging this year. No, because fishing equals water. <sighs> equals the possibility of getting splashed. Equals growing a tail in front of all the contestants. That's so sad that Cleo goes every single year with Lewis to fish and she's too scared to go this year to get turned into a mermaid in front of all the people. I almost said pedestrians. The year I finally win, and you're not going to be there. I can still watch. And weren't you going to win last year too? Mm. <laughs> yes, but last year, I didn't have this. Oh, and his lure literally looks like a spring. Great. What is it? It's the ultimate lure, designed by myself. Well, it's certainly unusual. Hey, Mr. Satori. Did you break something? <laughs> Did no? you break something? No? I love Mr. Story. Like I say, I'll say that every video. This is one new lore. Someone sold you that? No. No, I designed it myself. What do you think? As a judge, I, I really shouldn't give an opinion. That is totally understood. I think Lewis would really appreciate our support. Emma? Come on. Ricky, how about it? The shooks might be nervous. Well, at least all the girls are kind of scared to go, and it's not just Cleo being like a baby about it. Even Ricky's like, fish hooks scare me, no thank you. I've got something more important to do. And Zane and Ricky running into each other like that, remember they kissed? But she doesn't remember, so awkward. Oh, sorry, Lewis. Didn't see you there. Sorry, Lewis. Didn't see you there. Uh, this Whatever, Nate. You know that you saw him, walked right up to him, and was like, oh, sorry. Whatever, dude. I forget how much I roll my eyes at him and Zane. <laughs> it looks like I'm, like, going crazy over here. This is a two-day competition. Heaviest fish wins. Land it, weigh it, throw it back in. Cast off and good fishing. Yeah. But seriously, like, watch him. Purposefully makes Lewis go into the water right on his first pass. I wonder if Cleo went like this to hide her um, smile or something. But that would be my first reaction, actually. I do this a lot. Like, no. It could happen to anybody. I trip over all the time. Cleo's clumsy like me. I trip over all the time. I really do. I get so many bruises on me right now just from work, scratching my leg on the chair outside. It's bruised yeah. for like two, three weeks now. So what are you going to do about it? Come on, Lois. It's not worth it. <laughs> oh, I've never seen Lois this mad there, eh? no, in the series yet. Yeah, sure. I've seen the whole thing, you know, but still. Not a fish. <laughs> Amateur. Ricky? What are you doing here? What are you? I'm helping my dad with his investment seminar. He's one of the speakers. I noticed. He begged me to come along and play the dutiful son. It's totally boring. You're right there. 
Well, well it's, it's been, been riveting. riveting. <laughs> Zayn looking after her like that when she walks away, I mean, he definitely likes her, but it's probably because he's used to girls like wanting him, and she's one of the ones that is like, ew, get away from me. <laughs> Um, what did you want to say to me about? This. At least use my rod. It's top of the line. You really want me to re-enter this competition, don't you? Yeah. You gotta get back on that bike. Horse. Whatever. You know, you've just gotta run to the end of the pier and scream, Hey, I'm back. Why do you care so much? She cares because she well, likes you. Because I just don't. do. Look at how sweet he looks. He's like, I'm glad. I know you like me. I'm glad. Okay, you know, I like I'm you back. too. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Great. I just need to make. Oh, his spring is spring. <laughs> Whoa, 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 check this out, check this out. Look and learn, boys, look and learn. You know, Nate's like, look and learn, boys, look and learn. Just because he got a fish, but I mean, there's so many people fishing at this dock, I feel like you're just the lucky one if it takes your bite. Get a photograph and then throw it back. Whoa, I've got one, I've got a bite. And Lewis got a little baby fish. Boy, it's you. I'd be like, at least I got one, yeah, sir. What have you yeah. gotten? Hey, Nothing. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, oh look, good. Emma showed up. That's Great. cute. Of course it'd uh, be better if I could actually catch a decent fish. So where's Cleo? Guess that would make me home. feel bad if I was Lewis, knowing that you like Cleo. And mm? she's gone and didn't even say bye. Oh. And he's eating a tuna fish while I've fishing. Had a proper fish all morning. Perfect. That was funny. Oh, listen. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Lewis is the best. Oh, Lewis is the best. Ta da! He's got the biggest fish so far. <laughs> even though it's a clear as hell. Would you look at that? And he's genuinely happy because he Huge. isn't a cheater. He just casted it and reeled it in. He has no clue that that's where Cleo was. Lunch is that way. Uh, yeah, I'm here with my daddy. He dragged me along and then forgot to book, so now the restaurant's full up. Classy. Didn't see you inside, Zane. You missed an opportunity. You could have learned something. Yeah, I'm sure. Why don't you make yourself useful and go up to the suite? I need my notes. I'm talking to someone. Put it on the table as you go in. I'm talking to someone who is a beautiful young lady. He's a stress head. And knows nothing about Ricky, and he's already judging her. Uh, because and she's at he's important this nice hotel seminar thing, so like, she's not just one of those little, dumb, poor girls, is what he thinks. Hey. I know where there's some food. Heaps of it, upstairs in the suite, the hotel He really on. likes her, though. No, that's okay. And she really wants to take him up on his offer. The fridge is full. And if he misses anything, hey, it's good to take And that's what gets her upstairs. Let's piss off your dad, okay. <laughs> 7.3 kilos. Shame to throw it back. It's amazing. I've never seen anything that big caught off a pier. What's your secret? Oh, uh, skill and patience are important. No. But the, the main reason is science. I give you the pinnacle it's of the It's pinnacle. This Not is the pinnacle. that lands the big ones. I've <laughs> never seen that commercial. My own design. It's pinnacle. As of today, I'm putting them on the market. Advanced orders will be taken at any time. So come. Hold it. I mean, it does seem kind of suspicious. Like, he got this giant fish that isn't normally off the dock. I think it was a. One well, tuna are huge, but it was a big fish. I think they call it a tuna. But then he has to sell his spring worse, so it does seem suspicious. But I, we know Lewis. We know his heart. <laughs> you can see the mountains from here. I 
I knew the second he would walk out there, it would lock. I just knew it. Because there has to be some drama between them, not just like a fun old time up there eating the dad's food. Right. This is just Dang. Perfect. You're the one who asked me out. And of course, he's going to blame Ricky. And he's the one who invited her up there. So it's like, chill out, dude. Okay. I never should have come to this stupid seminar. Me either. Whole thing's just a scam. <laughs> Gee, whatever gave you that impression? It's just a way to scam mum and dad, investors out of their hard earned money. Your dad and all the speakers. They're all just crooks. I'm not arguing, okay? I feel like that's just like any super big corporate company who doesn't actually care about the people and the planet and everything. All they care about is the money. She gets a lot more in with her passions of like saving Mako Island, the planet type of thing later in the series. And she is obviously strong willed about it, so. Lewis, there's been an official protest. Tuna is a deep water fish. You can't catch him here. Lewis, people are saying you cheated. What? Cheated? No, no. I was staying on the Poor pier Lewis. the whole time. Poor Lewis. He didn't cheat, oh, right. of Someone course. Someone just swam up and put it on the end of that stupid lure. <laughs> the second he looks at Cleo, and especially her guilty face, he knows. I'm sorry, Lewis, but you leave me with no choice. You're out of the competition. What? I don't think you should come around to the house anymore. Mr. Satori, what has that got to do with fishing? I don't want my daughter hanging around with a cheat. I don't want my daughter hanging around with a cheat? He's not even the cheater. Your daughter is the one that cheated for him. <laughs> Your dad's not gonna like this. What's wrong? Nothing. You're not going to turn into a vampire or something, are you? That's funny coming from a mermaid. You're I not going to turn into a vampire, are you? What did you have to come out here for? And Zane's just freaking out because he's scared what? of heights and he's scared of his dad. So that's two things that's happening in one. It's okay. Everyone's scared of something. Yeah? What are you scared of? And I've commented on the original video of the H2 episode 20. Here. And said, like, what is Ricky no. afraid of? Like, Trust she doesn't no, answer. I Trust me. But I guess it could be the rain Trust now me. that she's a mermaid. She's scared of getting wet unintentionally. Pretend I'm. Or she says, imagine something some happy, like car. looking at her. Something that and his smile looks like he changes, like, you're beautiful. Feeling better? You're helping me. I think I really yeah. like you. And now he looks in love. Oh, God. Thanks. And I love Ricky's shirt because you would obviously wear it without the tank top underneath and it'd be an open back. Sexy. <laughs> Lewis, I'm sorry. I was only trying to help. Maybe I shouldn't have chosen such a big fish. No, why stop there? Why not hook me up with a giant squid? I would have rather lost than be a cheat. You're not the cheat. I am. There must be something we can do. There isn't. I'm banned. That's it. I still think it's funny that my hairdresser, which I'm like more than a month overdue, to be honest, for my roots. She's probably gonna be pissed whenever I come back. But with the move and stuff, I, I couldn't afford to go, so I'll go probably next month. She just said that like she doesn't think Lewis is cute, not her type or whatever. But seeing him up close there, his face, he's so cute. I think it's because I know how sweet he is too, so it makes him even cuter for me. I know there's no reason that you should help me. Actually, there is one. Lewis. All right, come on. It's been a mess ever since my mum left, and I just don't think my old man likes me very much. You know? That is kind of sad to think, like, oh, my so parents that's don't why like me. You're such a jerk. Shut up. <laughs> like, the parents normally raise you to be how you are, so if he doesn't like you, that means he doesn't like himself. He doesn't like how he raised you. You know, you don't have to be like that all the time. My parents split up too. Always arguing over money. Ricky's so pretty. Her eyes are beautiful. Her skin tone looks so good with her hair color. 
And then like I've said before, she has like a really nice body, like a dancer body, and she is a dancer, so I was right. But obviously, I still want to be Cleo just because our personalities are really similar. I get jealous. I'm super sweet and cute. I'm clumsy. Oh no, Ricky's like, no, 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 no. That's what I'm scared of. <laughs> That's what I'm scared of right there. You're actually gonna use that lure, sucker. Don't give me that. I know you've got one too, huh? You're both wasting your time. Yeah, that's nice. I don't work. I'm really glad that Emma went to help Cleo to do this. Anyone with Lewis's lure is getting a fish. <laughs> to prove like he's not a cheater, because all of these people would be cheaters too. This is not possible. Doesn't Don't work, work Is there any more of those for you? No, not for you. You can't have one. You gotta pay triple for you to have one. <laughs> Do you want this? Thanks. Same. He's giving her his wet. jacket. And look at her smile! <sighs> Man, I want a boyfriend like that so bad. Well, okay, not like that. He's mean, but sweet like that. <laughs> Give him a jacket. What's wrong with you, Zane? I wait all afternoon for my notes. You don't turn up at the seminar and the hotel staff hand me... We were trying to get someone's attention by ruining my notes. It wasn't like that. I wasn't talking to you and don't lie. Honestly, if you have to waste time with a girl, at least pick one with a future. Like one of those down at the seminar. Her name don't is lie. And she was one of the girls What would she have seminar? gained to lie to you? You're nothing to her. She didn't fall for it. And by the way, I'm not your errand boy, so stop treating me like one. He's like, whoa, you've never stood up to me. This girl's a bad influence like to on you. It's nice to meet you. But that would be you a see, lie. look, it, it's nice to meet you. Um, no, that would be a lie. I'm not saying it. And look, she's so happy that she said that and walking away in his jacket. She's in love, oh god. And look at his ja his smile. She's so cute. She's like, whoa, you're touching me. Now that a smile. That's so cute. I have two announcements to make. Lewis has been officially reinstated in the competition and is the outright winner of the heaviest catch, beating his nearest rival by exactly five grams. Face when he lifted up the I have Trophy. to apologize to you, Lewis, for doubting you. <laughs> Who knows why so many giant tuna came into the harbor? Oh, come on. If he didn't cheat, then why didn't I get one? Nobody, Nobody likes, likes a sore loser, loser, mate. loser Nate. He came last. Get over it. Ooh, he came last. <laughs> you see, as a mysterious mistress, Lewis, please accept my apology. I hope we can go fishing together soon. I'd love to have a go at that new lure of yours. Yeah, I'd like that. Even though he was making and, fun of uh, it too. I hope you didn't take me too seriously about not seeing Cleo. <gasps> Feel free to come around at any time. Oh, great. Well, I'll come I'll around tonight. I'll be over tonight. tonight. Okay. He's like, no, that was Good. fast, okay. <laughs> but I mean, he's always hanging out with her, so it kind of makes sense. He can hang out with her, so I'm coming over. Forgive me? Yeah. Under one condition, you never help me again. Nice trophy. Hey, where have you been all day? Nowhere. I tried calling you before and you didn't answer. What have you been doing? I'm out Trying and about. Staying out of the Staying rain. Staying out of the rain is what she says. Mm-hmm. But look at that smile. She knows. Okay, so that was H2O Season 1, Episode 20, Hook, Line, and Sinker. And the next one is Episode 21, Red Herring. I'm not gonna lie. I'm about to watch it right now, like I said in the beginning of the video, so that I can get it recorded. I just gotta edit these two videos and then you know next week record edit record edit if it didn't need a real okay i wish youtube was my real job but i don't have enough subscribers for it to be yet so i'm gonna say i wish this was my real job so that i didn't have to go to my real job so that i could just film like every single day or every other day and then edit the every other day that would be nice and ideal but or, you know, I would be one of those people, since editing makes me feel, like, nauseous and sick, like vertigo or something, I would eventually, obviously, pay for an editor 
that'd be nice because then they can make my videos way cooler anyway i'm so glad to be back i hope you guys are glad i'm back let me know if you want to see other videos i found all my vhs tapes from when whenever i was a baby and i actually want to see how much it would be to sell some of those you know what i mean because guess what i have the orange rugrats tape the orange rugrats tape in the box so I gotta figure out how much that is. My name wasn't written on that one, taking a daycare, so it's like fair game to maybe sell. So I'm I'm kind of excited about that. I need some money and I'm not gonna watch them. They're VHS tapes. I could probably buy it on a DVD, so, you know. But again, if I keep them for a lot longer, then maybe eventually they'll be way more expensive. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you missed my videos. Let me know if you missed me, because I missed you guys, especially the two people that actually really commented for me for a while, Ruben C and um, the other person that had the BTS member names. <laughs> like I said, I don't really know how to say it because it's like only two or three letters in each like BTS name, so you know who you are and I hope you're still watching. So yeah, I'm going to film 21 right now and I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Do I need to change? I don't know if I'll change. I might put on my cat ears and that'll just be what else is new in this video because I'm really hot. I guess you'll find out. Okay, bye.